like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. New York City. You are now rocking with the best. Boy Banks. G. Let me on fire. Up in here, it's burning hot. We on fire. Instead of actually getting a job and supporting the children that he has, Jax, a.k.a. Edgar Bright, would prefer to sit in a car playing Keep Rising to the Top and making hand puppets. understand or know why I never ever start my videos off at the beginning of each of their live and if I do start it off at the beginning I usually put up a banner well that's because I have to protect the privacy of my troll account y'all know when y'all enter somebody room on IG your name pops up there then automatically it says share this video or request to join I don't want them seeing that because then they'll figure out which person is the troll account that belongs to me. So yeah, troll safety first. Hey, 
Hey Tracy. Hey, I'm gonna fuck with the trolls today. Hey Tracy, I don't. Who cares what you think? Who cares what you think? Hey, what you say about other people, you saying to yourself. Hey, what you say about other people, you saying to yourself. I ain't even gonna hold y'all, but that was his comeback to that comment. Tracy by nature. Shout out to Tracy by nature. She said that ninja ain't never getting out. He is a cult leader. And all Jax could think of to say is, hey, what, d don't forget, whatever you say, you saying it to yourself. You say, <laughs> oh my goodness, yo, this is just, I, you can't make this stuff up, guys. What you say about other people, you saying to yourself. Three coming home, most, most certainly. Three coming home. Don't I, I don't have no wife. I don't have no wife. I don't have no children. You feel me? The children that y'all think of, they are me. You feel me? Them babies, they me. They me. You definitely a troll. You talking about a cult leader. Ain't no such thing as a cult. And Lee Hill Bishop is not a cult leader. He is not a cult leader. Imagination is not a cult. We're a family. We're a family of indigenous people. We're a family of indigenous souls. I want y'all to know. No cult over here. The system that you live in, the system that we live in is a cult. The United States of America is a cult. You work for them, right? Come on now. Come on now. The United States of America is a cult. Right? You work for them, right? You in bed with them, right? You go to work and you go get that little money and give it right back to the bank. That You feel me? You in a cult. You're in a cult. You in a cult. You're in a cult. Hey guys, I am back with yet another amazing book, The Tribe of Judah Experience, authored by Elizabeth, a.k.a. Liz. Guys, if you're interested in being one of the first people to get this book, it is available for pre-order now. All you have to do is is go to Liz's IG page, which is here on the screen right now, click on the link in her bio, and it will take you directly to amazon.com so you could go ahead and get on the pre-order list today. You in the cult, you're in the cult. It's clear that I'm thinking for myself. Nobody made me get on this camera. Nobody made me press live. Nothing. Nobody's making me say what I, I you don't, do. You see any strings on my back? Do you see any strings on my back, Goofy? Come on now, Tracy. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. You keep your money, but what is money? What is money? How much does a dollar cost? What does it profit a person to gain the world yet forfeit their soul? You own your business, but guess what? The LLC that you own, the LLC that you own, you got to pay taxes for, right? That business that you so-called own, you got to pay taxes for, right? How the fuck can you own something that you got to pay for? Nah, I'm not a follower. I'm just an intelligent individual. And I know truth when I see truth. I know a real one when I see a real one. I know a real nigga when I, know, when I see a real nigga. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Hey, we in Babylon. We need money to get out our situation. Babylon is a token for us to get out our situation in the system. We're not going to be dumb. We, we got to play the game. But one thing we're not going to do is sell our people out for money. Another thing we're not going to do is sell our soul for money. That's what y'all doing. Y'all selling y'all soul for money. Free three. Free three. Hey. Hey. Free Marty, peace to the gods. But you're lazy. I don't. We don't want y'all money. Don't nobody want y'all money. The universe provides for us. Mama Lucia provides for us. The universe, nature provides for us. We not worried about y'all. We don't want y'all money. If y'all have donations and y'all want to support three, do so. Do it from the kindness of y'all heart. But nobody wants y'all money because we already protected and we already provided for it. Just know that. Just know that. And three coming home very, very soon. You feel me? You're going to be on dick when he get home, Tracy. 
You gonna be on dick when he get home. Don't nobody beg for nothing. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but he talking about somebody gonna be on D when he get home. And Leo Bishop, aka Nature Boy, ain't coming home, Jax, aka Edgar Bright. The only person that's gonna be on his D is his prison wife. He gonna have a few of them in there. You gonna be on dick when he get home. Don't nobody beg for nothing. We send out the frequency. We send out the frequency, uh, Tracy. We send out the frequency. Tracy by nature. Why you got that name? Why you got that name, Tracy? Why you worried about what we doing? Don't you got a business to go attend to, Tracy? So look. You following me right now. You following the movement right now. Get in tune, Tracy. Get in tune, baby, okay? Now listen, man. Hey. the time i got time too you focused on us you focused on us you focused on us for what for what remember the energy that you put out you got to get back we don't deserve your energy please go do something more valuable with your energy if you feel like what we doing over here don't fit you go elsewhere and do what you need to do for you please don't give us your energy because we don't want bad energy we don't want negativity we don't want negative energy at all you feel me? Y'all see the title, right? Imagination. Three is free. It's all in your subconscious. Imagination. Three is free. You feel me? We're gonna get into the download in a second. Let me let me let me put another song on. Cause I'm in here vibing. I'll be a joke. I'll be a joke, but we're gonna see who the joke is when them earthquakes hit your city. When them tsunamis and them and them natural disasters hit your city. And the internet shut down and you don't got the message for you to save your life. We're going to see who the joke then. Hey, the same things that make you laugh is the same things that'll make you cry. You. Laugh now, but y'all going to be crying later. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Chief coming home. Three coming home. So why you on social media on dick? Why you on social media on dick then, Tracy? Push the three. Somebody put a three in the building. Somebody put a three in the building. Somebody put a three in the building. You not free, Tracy. You not free. You said you own a business. You got to pay for that business. If y'all ain't going to put a three in the chat, I'm going to do it. The fuck? What's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? The fuck is wrong? I ain't even finna hold y'all, man. But shout out to Tracy by nature. Because... Yo, they be out of control in the comments, and I love it. I'm here for it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. The fuck? What's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? The fuck is wrong with y'all? The fuck is wrong with y'all? You not free, though, Tracy. You got you not free until you, can, until you get your food for free, until you get your shelter for free, until you get your water for free. You don't get none of those three things for free. So what you talking about? You free. You, if anything, Chief, the most freest person out this bitch, because he's free mentally. Mentally. You can't lock up nobody that's free in their mind. Come on, it's all it's all consciousness. I left my family. I didn't leave my family. I didn't leave my family. I went to go on my own journey. I went to go live my spiritual journey and show my people what they need to do so that they can survive so that they can reach their higher self like my chief showed me i never left anybody hey they got my number they can call me they got me on social media they can go look at my videos they got chief come on now i ain't leave nobody we ain't leave nobody we not abandoning nobody we here for y'all that's why we online we here for y'all y'all are crazy we we here for y'all y'all out of y'all mind Okay, everyone, I have some really exciting news. Janae's book, Lesson Learned, is now available on Amazon.com. The paperback version is $25.55, and the hardcover is 47 dollars 
So you can actually pick her book up on Amazon.com today. Here for y'all. Y'all out of your mind. Yeah, the, hey, that's my spiritual pops. That's my spiritual pops. That's my guru. That's the Messiah. That's the King of Kings. That's the God of Gods. You better know it. You better know it. Hey, peace to all the guys in the room. You better know it. I am there for my kids. I'm a consciousness. We don't we don't truly exist like my two teaches us. So I'm uploading my personality and my consciousness online on the internet, the ethernet, so that my children can see what the fuck going on. You feel me? I ain't leaving nobody. Nobody, no. Nah, y'all abusing yourselves. Nobody abusing nothing. How I'm getting water and food and shelter for free? Because the universe provide for me. All that's free. The universe provide for me. The universe provide for me and my family. Hey, do the righteous thing. Do the right thing. Seek ye the kingdom first and everything else should be added unto you. Hey, you are what you see in me, Tracy. I want you to know that. Like my chief teaches us. You are what you see in other people. And another thing, you never make, you never look good trying to make somebody else look bad. Come on now. Come on now. Hey, look, y'all don't even... Donations, send a donation, whatever it is. But look, it's going into your subconscious mind. Y'all paying me, by y'all giving me your attention, by y'all giving chief y'all attention, y'all paying us with your energy. So pay attention. Because it's going right into your subconscious mind. And it's going right into the download on y'all. So look, imagination. Three is free, that's the title. What is imagination, y'all? We not carbonation. You feel me? Although we are melanated and carbon is the, the main component inside of melanin, but we imagination, right? We imagination. What is imagination? Like my chief says, I think, therefore I am. To think is to exist. To think is to dream. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on, let me see. Where we at? To dream is to imagine. So your life is a dream. Your, your life is imagination. I'm going to say it again. Like my chief says, I think, therefore I am. To think is to exist. To think is to dream. To dream is to imagine. Therefore, your life is your imagination, right? Go look up the, go look up the word dream and think and imagine. Go look at that. Go on Webster, uh, Merriam-Webster Dictionary. If you got the book, cool. If you don't, go on Google. Right? I'm going to say it again. So I, so it's three times. So it's cipher. Y'all can keep putting what y'all want in the chat, but I'm, I'm, I'm not perturbed by this. I want y'all to know that. So look, like my chief says, I think, therefore I am. To think is to exist. To think is to dream, and to dream is to imagine. Therefore, your life is imagination. So watch this. That's why we call it imagination. The first hermetic principle is what? Mentalism. All is mental. Right? Everything is happening within your mind. I'm a ray. What's good? Peace of the gods. So, you're dreaming. Like she teaches us. You're in a dream. You're imagining yourself into this reality. You're thinking yourself into this reality. To think is to dream. And to dream is what? To imagine. So your life is your imagination. That's why we imagination. So look. Why do we exist? How do we exist? The only reason why you exist is because you're thinking. Right? I am. Therefore, you feel me? I think. Therefore, I am. The I am is what? God. We are all God like chief teachers. Peace to all the guys in the room, man. Shout out to my chief, y'all. Shout out to the most honorable prophet, Chief Baba G. Free my chief. Free the three. So we are all, we all exist because we are thinking. Life is a holographic projection of your astrological program like my chief teaches us. Life is a projection of your DNA. DNA is the mind of God. You are God. Everything that you see is God. I am God. You feel me? We are all God. I want y'all to notice this going into your subconscious mind. Exactly. Keep the three. Push the three. 
That's what it is. Nothing, nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. The distractions, y'all are distractions. Y'all would not perturb me. You feel me? So we are all thinking that that means we're existing. So watch this. You are God. And God wants to use your astrological energy to experience its creation through. The only reason why you exist is because you're thinking. Remember, the only... To even think not to think is a thought. So you're always thinking, which means we're always manifesting and projecting a reality. You see what I'm saying? We're all. I really hope that all this rambling that he's doing is a direct result of him having low vibrational thoughts, as they would say, of going home or missing his family. And which means we're always manifesting and projecting a reality. You see what I'm saying? We're always manifesting and keep and we're always manifesting and thinking ourselves and, and our DNA into our reality. So watch this. I'm gonna tell you why my nails dirty. My nails are dirty like she teaches me. My nails are dirty like she teaches me. 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 So that I can collect antibodies from my environment so that it can go into my bloodstream to make my immune system stronger for the environment that I'm in. Simply. Simply put. Yo, your nails are too clean. No, Jax, a.k.a. Edgar Bright. Your nails are dirty because you are not practicing proper hygiene. You are not taking proper care of yourself. Because your sole focus has become Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy. Simply, simply put, your, your nails are too clean. Get some dirt in your nails so that y'all can collect some bacteria and antibodies so that y'all can be immune to your environment. You see what I'm saying? So you only, you only exist because you're thinking, right? But to think means to dream and to dream means to imagine so you're imagining yourself into this reality everything that you see you're imagining we know that the holographic universe shows and proves to us scientifically objectively that you are just a mind and your mind is encased in complete darkness and it's using your actual it's using your dna right your astrological program as a software like she teaches us to manifest and project your reality. So God wants to play you. God wants to be you. God wants to use your thoughts to shape and manifest your reality for itself. But we got to ask ourselves. We got to ask ourselves. What are we thinking? Where are we thinking and where, are these, where do these thoughts come from? What are we thinking and where do these thoughts come from? Y'all got to ask yourself this question because we're always thinking. The fact that you're thinking makes you exist. If you weren't thinking, you would not exist. You wouldn't exist if you weren't thinking. So where are these thoughts coming from? And why do we think? Well, these thoughts are coming from where? The quantum field of infinite possibilities. These thoughts are coming from nowhere because we truly don't exist. Right? But why are we thinking? Like she teaches us, we think so that we can, so God can experience his creation, so that we can experience our creation. But we never ask ourselves, okay, where do my thoughts come from? Like, why am I thinking the way that I'm thinking? Well, it's because of your astrological program. Well, why is my astrological program the way that it is? Well, you got to look at your environment. You have All right, y'all, going ahead and drop me a comment, smash the heck out of that like button and share. Thank you guys in advance. Have to take a look at your environment you gotta take a look at your subconscious mind right what is the subconscious mind like chief teaches us the subconscious mind is the unconscious mind it is the part of the mind that is running and ruling 95 percent of your reality you're only conscious of five percent of what's going on the subconscious the subconscious is ruling your thoughts so Obviously, some of the people in the chat not thinking the wrong way. They don't have the correct perspective on life.
That's why they spread hate because they hate themselves because they grew up in an environment around people that hated themselves and they projected that onto them. And now y'all perpetuating the same self hate that y'all learn, right? Because the subconscious is programmed through repetition, through learned behavior, right? You learn how to think how you're thinking. The way you talking to people on this, on this, on, in the chat, somebody taught you how to how to how to communicate like that. That's not the proper way to communicate. So, in order for us to have the proper thoughts, like Chief teaches us, 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 like Chief teaches us. Like Chief teaches us, we need to do these three things. We need to do three things in order for us to start thinking properly. The first thing we must do, we must do is get out of the environment that we got sick in. Remember, you are selling inside of the body of God. All sickness, all disease, like Chief teaches us, comes from the mind. So first and foremost, in order for us to have the proper perspective, we must first get the fuck out of the environment that we got sick in. Y'all say, oh, you left your family and you left your kids. No. I left an I left an environment that was making me sick. I didn't want to stay sick. I didn't want to be in a mental dis a mental state of dis-ease, a mental state of disharmony. And I didn't want to project that onto anybody else. So the best thing for me and the best thing for my loved ones was to separate myself from the time being so that I can get my mind right, so that I can properly heal, right? That's why Chief had us in the jungles, you feel me? That's why Chief had us in the tropics in Puerto Rico, you feel me? Y'all, 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 y'all put so much hate out, but y'all not seeing what- I ain't even finna hold y'all, but Jax, aka Edgar Bright, Puerto Rico is a part of the United States of America, sir. It's not considered the tropics. Yes, it has a warm climate, but it's 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 a part of the U.S. I mean, y'all 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 put so much hate out, but y'all not seeing what Chief was actually doing for people's lives. I ain't never been out the country. I ain't never been to a tropical environment until I met my Chief, and it's an honor, and I'm grateful to have met my higher self because now I have the correct perspective on life. Now I know how to properly think because I've uh left the environment that I got sick in. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio. Some of my some of my Babylon family members still in Cleveland, Ohio. Some of some of y'all still ain't left some of y'all still ain't left the uh left the nest. Y'all still sick. Y'all still in the same environment that y'all got sick in and y'all think that y'all healed. Y'all think that y'all healing. Y'all not y'all not that's retarded you feel me that's retardation you feel me? To think that you doing one thing, but you're doing the complete opposite. That's, you feel me? Mentally underdeveloped. So the first thing that we must do is to get out of the environment that we got sick in. That means taking your being and placing yourself in a natural environment. If you can't get yourself in a natural environment, go somewhere where you can isolate. Go somewhere where there's nature, where there's a lot of green, where there's a lot of brown. Why are you not in the tropics, sir? I, I need to know, because if that's the best place to be, why are you still sitting in Georgia in a car? Isolate. Go somewhere where there's nature, where there's a lot of green, where there's a lot of brown, where there's a lot of trees, a lot of water so that you can get proper oxygen so that you can properly think. Because oxygen is what's helping your blood flow so that you can have consciousness, so that you can think clearly. So first and foremost, you must get out of the environment that you got sick in. The second thing you must do, the second thing that you must do is reprogram your mind with the correct information. We've been given the wrong information. The, 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 the shorty, shorty Tracy and this bitch talking about she own a business. Come on now, that's, that's a sickness in itself. For you to think that you can own anything is a lie. Like my chief teaches us, you can't own anything. You can only occupy space. You don't even own the body that, you don't even own your body. 
You don't own the clothes. You don't own your car. You don't own your home, even if it's paid off because it's land taxes. You don't own nothing. You got to pay taxes on everything. So the fact that you think that you can own anything is it shows that you're in your lower self and we're thinking the wrong way. So we must reprogram our, our minds subconsciously with divine knowledge of self. That's what the Messiah, that's what my chief came here to show us. How to reprogram our minds and how to take responsibility for what's going on in our lives and take our power back so that we can uplift ourselves and, and vibrate to our higher selves, to our highest frequencies. But first you got to get out of the environment that you in. You still hanging around the same people. You still hanging around the same people that you grew up with. How you going to change? How are you healing? How are you on your spiritual journey? How? How? Remember, your new life is gonna cost you. It's gonna cost you your old life. It's gonna cost you who you who you used to think that you was. Whatever alter ego that you was in, whatever job that you work, whatever family that you thought you had, your new life is gonna cost you that old you. So it's time for us to put in work. So, execution. Make an exit from the environment that you got sick in. That's the first step. The second step is reprogramming your mind with the five sciences, with the ancient scripture that my chief shows us. You feel me? And the third step is to proclaim the kingdom of God, to proclaim what you have now programmed yourself with. Because remember, once you once you exit the environment that you got sick in, you got to empty your cup. When you empty your cup, you're going to refill it with divine knowledge yourself. Right? The five sciences, astrology, biology, quantum physics, melanin, and grounding. This is the kingdom of God. This is the kingdom of God because the kingdom of God is truth. The kingdom of God is you. It's within you. It's within Okay, everyone. I have some really exciting news. Janae's book, Lesson Learned, is now available on Amazon.com. The paperback version is $25.55 and the hardcover is $47.90. So you can actually pick her book up on Amazon.com today. The kingdom of God is truth. The kingdom of God is you. It's within you. It's within you. It's within all of us. We all have access to it if our astrological program enables us to have access to it. But that last step is to proclaim the new information, the new you. You feel me? You you can't be the same you no more. You can't. You got to evolve. You got to evolve or you're going to stay, stay the same. You have to imagine yourself. You have to think or dream yourself into being a new being. You can no longer be the old you no more. It's time to evolve, Reflection. It's time to get out of that old environment. It's time to let go of them old people that don't mean you no well. It's time to let go of that old food. It's time to let go of that job that don't serve you no more. It's time to let go of that relationship that don't serve you no more. It's time to let go of them bad habits and them bad behaviors that don't serve you no more. And it's time to reprogram and refill your cup with the right information and proclaim that information. Proclaim the information that the Messiah has given to us. I want y'all to know that everything Chief has done for us is never going to be in vain. It's not in vain at all. It's not in vain. His message will live on. And he come home regardless. But that last step is to proclaim the kingdom. You feel me? In order to manifest or dream or imagine yourself into a new reality... It takes magnetism like my chief teaches us. It takes magnetism. You're an electrical, magnetic oh being. You have, being. An you have an EMF field. You're magnetic. So that means that you ignite what you want and what you think into your reality. So sound is very powerful. Sound is very, very powerful. So when you speak up in your reality, you manifest what you speak about. So when you proclaim the kingdom of God, you're proclaiming the kingdom of truth. You're proclaiming the kingdom of the most high. The I am God, the Christ consciousness, right? That's what we're doing. Pro the word proclaim means to announce publicly with due emphasis. 
kingdom means a domain or realm of thought. The most high objective and most pure thoughts that you can have on this earth plane. My chief provides that to humanity. But y'all, but y'all, but y'all can't see it. Y'all hate. Y'all hate and y'all fear what y'all don't understand. You feel me? Y'all scared to change. Y'all scared to die. But death is nothing but a transition into the mind. So we must evolve. Whether it's now or later. But regardless, it's inevitable. You must evolve. It has to happen. It has to happen. The message is already out in y'all subconscious mind. Y'all already getting the truth. Y'all already getting it. Y'all God. Y'all are God. You already got the truth. It's up to you to step and move on that truth. And to proclaim that truth. And to own that truth. So... With your imagination, it's time for us to start using our imagination the right way again. They done taught us that, oh, if you go get the money, then I can get the car. If you go get the money, then I can get the house. If you go get the money, then you can get the girl or you can get or you or you can go get the men. No. That's the wrong way of thinking. That's the wrong way to think. That's not the path of least resistance. That's not the right way to think. They, We don't know how to think no more. We don't know how to use our imagination no more. Go look at the reading rainbow. Y'all remember the TV shows? I can be anything. We can be anything. I can be anything. We can be anything. It's in your imagination. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but I do remember that show. However, Jax, a.k.a. Edgar Bright, once you become an adult, you kind of have to start adulting, okay? Anything, we can be anything. It's in your imagination, though. You can be as a man thinketh, so shall you be. As someone thinketh, so shall you be. What are you thinking? Because to think means to what? Exist. To think means to dream. To dream means to imagine. Therefore, your life is an imagination. You're imagining everything that's happening to your reality. But y'all running off the Babylon, the Babylonian mindset by default, by default, because y'all deaf, dumb, and blind. That's why we on. The, that's why we on live. That's why we on social media, putting out the frequency so that we can help y'all wake up. It's unfortunate that y'all can't see that we that we here to help y'all. It's unfortunate that y'all don't see that the Most High Chief Baba G is here to help y'all. He's here to help. That's what he's been doing the whole time. The greatest king is the greatest servant. Chief been of service to humanity for years. But y'all don't see that. Because y'all don't know how to use your imagination. Y'all thinking the wrong way. Y'all, we've been taught that, oh, we got to go to work for us to get everything. Oh, we got to go do this. We got to do that. We got to go move the body to get everything. No. Steal the body and move the mind. You feel me? Go tap into nature. Stop eating Stop eating all the poison. Stop watching all the bullshit television. Stop listening to all the bullshit music. It's blocking you. It's blocking you. And remember, your subconscious rules 95% of your reality. So, at, so you might think that, oh, man, I can control that. Man, no, that ain't going to stop me from doing nothing. But no, the fact is, is that it's running in the background of your reality. Whether you like it or not, you're not in control of none of this. Life is already written. It's already written. It was already written that y'all was going to hate the Messiah. It was already written that y'all was going to deny the truth. And it was already written that we was going to be here to speak truth for y'all. Y'all don't see what's going on. Y'all don't see the earthquakes happening. Haiti going through a state of emergency. Natural disasters. All the all the ditties and all these people they 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 come on everybody getting exposed the truth is re being revealed now that's the only honest thing that Jax aka Edgar Bright has said this entire life because the truth has been revealed and that truth came directly out of Eligio Bishop aka Nature Boy aka Chief Hoppa John Hot Pocket aka Chief Administrative Segregation's mouth. Check this out, y'all.
day. She's like, you don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I hugged her. And when she's like, no. And I'm and when she's like, no. And I'm like, and when she's like, no. And I'm like, and when she's like, no. And I'm like, I know some of y'all tired of me playing that clip, but I ain't. It's like music to my ears. Directly out of the horse's mouth, he said that she said no. They, they, come on, everybody getting exposed. The truth is being revealed. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess this truth. Everyone must proclaim the kingdom of God in order for you to secure your soul. Because heaven or earth is coming. Heaven or earth is coming. But you have to imagine, you have to imagine this happening, right? She teaches us that we're supposed to be able to imagine something or, or dream something and stay in that reality, right? When you go to sleep and take it down at night, when you go into another dream, you're supposed to be able to stay in that dream. But we keep coming back here to the earth plane. The Most High Chi Baba Ji teaches us that this earth plane is a hell realm. Why do we keep waking up back here? Why do we keep waking up here? Oh, because this is a proving ground. Here, here is where we learn to utilize our energies the proper way. Here is where we proclaim the kingdom of God so that we can enter the higher realms of consciousness. Yeah, we're not here to be happy, y'all. We're not here to own no businesses. We're not here to go be chasing no money, y'all. No. We here, to, yeah, we going to get the money so that we can make our way to fuck out the system. But we here to elevate. We here to evolve. We not here to stay here. We not here to be hating on each other. That's the problem. We using our imagination the wrong way and guess where it's projecting you? Back into this realm, back into this hell realm where you have to purify and go through purification so that you can enter the, the, the higher realms of consciousness we've been taught to use our imagination the wrong way we don't know how to critically think for ourselves we've been taught that one plus one is two we've been taught that there's one through ten but no this shit is binary code it's zeros and ones like my chief teaches us one plus one is what one because one divided by, by itself is two. One divided by one is two. We have to learn how to think. Because you're dreaming. You're imagining yourself. You're imagining your whole reality. And the reason why you're not able to stay in that dream realm. And stay in that heaven that you see in your dreams is because. You don't know how to properly think. It's because you don't have morals and principles. You don't know universal law. And that's where the Most High Chi Baba Ji comes in. It helps us. It steals morals and principles into us. Divine knowledge itself. Hermetic principles. Right? The black man. The black man. Jax, a.k.a. Edgar Bright. Can you explain to me what part of the knowledge of the Heal Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Chief Hoppa John Hot Pocket, a.k.a. Chief Administrative Segregation was teaching in this clip. Check this out, y'all. Real niggas out there feel real energy. Y'all niggas is fuck niggas all behind a cell phone that wouldn't say the shit you say online in real life. You wouldn't have the heart to say what you say online in real life. You see what you're doing on the internet? You're doing that because internet cowards give... The internet give cowards an outlet. This is the shit that niggas couldn't say back in the day before there was internet. I was here before the internet. And y'all niggas was bitches. One thing that I've learned so far is that he is drunk as I don't know what right now. And he's still drinking. I told you that because you ain't never been around men and you don't have no OG. You see what I'm saying? And the bitches out here, y'all cowards too. Y'all cowards too. Y'all was raised by the system. Y'all protected by white supremacy. So you need to say anything. Y'all be wilding out. Y'all woman is cowards. You disrespect the black man. You disrespect the black energy behind masculinity. You, you, think you're a man. you think you're a man because white supremacy put all the dominant males in jail and put you in control of your community and put you in charge of your community. And you think you got, you, you take this false sense of power and think you the man. You ain't no fucking man. Who's a bitch? You don't know how to, you don't know how to even live with a man. 
You do not let a man come in and be in your energy and be in your field because you think you're a man. That's why you're single. That's why so many single black women right now. Because white supremacy has put all the alpha males behind the jail. They put them behind the jail. They put them behind and left all these docile niggas that y'all raised to be bitches and protect y'all. Y'all raised these bitch ass niggas today to protect you so that you can lead and be in. Now, what did I learn from that last clip? I learned that Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Chief Hoppa John Hot Pocket, a.k.a. Chief Administrative Segregation, enjoyed belittling and degrading both men and women. Protect y'all. Y'all raise these bitch ass niggas today to protect you so that you can lead and be in the follow. Bitch, you ain't supposed to be the head. You think you the head, but there's an invisible man behind you. It's called white supremacy, bitch. You got a man. The, man, the white man is your motherfucker. That's why you always calling 911. You always calling CPS when you don't get your way. When a nigga beats your ass, who you call? You call 911. Somebody come help me, please. He got I don't know. Is it just me? Or are you guys done listening to the knowledge? This is what Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Chief Hoppa John Hot Pocket, a.k.a. Chief Administrative Segregation, would do on a regular basis on Beyonce's internet. He wasn't teaching nobody nothing. College itself, hermetic principles, right? The black man, the black man especially, the melanated man is here to enforce Mayotte law, divine law, universal laws and principles. We agent, we government agents for nature. We here to police the planet. We not here to go do no dumb. We not here to be going to clubs all day and every day. We not here to go kick it. Yeah, we here to enjoy ourselves, but we not we here to evolve, focus. We gotta focus our minds. Use your thoughts and your imagination the correct way. Imagine yourself in the heaven in the heavenly realm. Imagine yourself in the tropics. Imagine chief out of jail and hold that thought. Hold that frequency. That's what we doing. That's what we doing. Imagine chief out of jail and hold that thought. Hold that frequency. That's what we doing. That's what we doing. And we showing y'all. I ain't even finna hold y'all, but I know he didn't just say that. I know he didn't just. He said that imagine chief out of jail then hold that thought that's what we doing that's what we doing wow Jax, aka edgar bright ain't no amount of imagination gonna get Elihio hill bishop aka nature boy out of prison we doing that's what we doing and we showing y'all how to use your imagination y'all gonna see in the end three gonna win in the end chief gonna be home soon and we're going to be back in the tropics. And y'all going to be, oh, shit, what the? Because it's in our imagination. It's a thought. We manifesting, y'all. And when you manifesting great things, you're going to have to have focus. You're going to have to have, you're going to have to hold that thought. Can you hold that thought? Can you focus on what you really want? Is your, is your thoughts aligned with righteousness? Or is it aligned with your lower self? You still want to be a business owner. You still want to go get hella views on... Come on now. You want to go get views and likes on Instagram. Y'all want to be liked. That's the problem. Y'all want to be liked in this reality. Don't nobody give a fuck about this world. This world dead. The world as y'all know it is dead. You feel me? Let the dead bury the dead. What y'all using y'all thoughts and y'all imagination to create for yourselves? A heavenly, a heavenly realm... Or hell, or hell, or hell round. Well, but the fact of the matter is, to think means to dream, and to dream means to imagine it, to imagine. Therefore, your life is your imagination. Everything is imagination. So, in order for you to have the proper perspective, in order for you to start thinking and dreaming about the correct things, and start imagining heaven on earth. You must reprogram your subconscious mind. Bruce Lipton tells us that the subconscious mind is like a child. It is like a child. Between the age of zero and seven, you are in a state known as theta state. This is a hypnosis state, a hypnotic state, where the mind 
is most susceptible to being programmed by its environment, by people, places, and things. What have we been programmed to do? We've been programmed to want to be fucking cheerleaders, basketball players, rappers, singers, movie stars. No, that's not. While that's a part of your, your energies, that's not who you are. You're God. You are God and you came here to play God. God wants to play you through your astrological energy. But remember, God is also the devil in disguise. So a lot of us out here being devils because we don't know how to properly think because we running off of misinformation. We still eating Popeye's chicken. We still eating KFC. We still want to go to college and get master degrees. When life is school, when nothing in nature sends its child to school for it to learn who it is. You feel me? Go look at other countries. They got their kids learning four or five, six, seven languages because it's the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind does not reject any information. It, it don't it can't decipher whether I'm talking to y'all or I'm talking to myself. That's why it's very important that you be careful what you say out your fucking mouth. That's why it's very important what you say and what you do because your subconscious mind don't know whether you're doing it to somebody else or whether you're doing it to yourself because it only knows you. It looks at it look at you as everything. You are everything. You are God, the I am, right? To think I think therefore I am. Thought, thought, a tomb, light, that's God, masculine and feminine energy balanced. So we must reprogram our subconscious mind so that we can have the proper, proper perspective on what life is and on how to create and how to think and dream and imagine what we want into our reality. So I'm going to run it back for y'all. First thing you got to do to reprogram your subconscious mind, you got to get out of that environment. Get the fuck out of Cleveland. And I'm talking to my people back there. Because really, I make these videos for my family. I make these videos for, for, for the souls that I'm here to collect, that I'm here to convict. You feel me? These videos for y'all. Niggas, niggas is here for y'all. Chief here for y'all. Chief is making the videos for niggas like me. And I'm grateful. So each one teach one. It's imperative that I spread the information to y'all too. Because that's the only, that's the honorable thing to do. Re reflect in the light. Like Erica Badu said, reflect the light. You feel me? So the first thing that you must do, get the fuck out of Cleveland, y'all. Get the fuck out of Ohio, y'all. Get out of the Midwest. Get out of the Northern Hemisphere. Get your mind right. Go get, use your Babylon bucks. All that little money, that paper game y'all playing, get get the little money. Get it. Go ahead and get it. And then use them Babylon bucks to free yourself. To get out of your situation. If you can't take your kids with you, leave their ass there. Leave them with their mama or their daddy. If they want to stay there in that system. And they want to work and be, be slaves. Leave. Because at the end of your life cycle, when you die... We all got to go. We all got to transition. You can't blame it on your on your kids. You can't blame it on your baby mama or your baby daddy or your mother or your father. You responsible for you. So it's up to you to get yourself out of your situation. Don't let nothing hold you back. Like the Buddha said, attachments is the root to all suffering. Cut anything off that's not serving you. Let it go. You feel me? You'll get it back. You'll get it back. But you have to get out of the environment that you got sick in. I don't know if y'all if y'all know me in this room or y'all look at this video later. Get out of your situation. Y'all can't, like my chief teaches us, we cannot heal in the same environment that we got sick in. Why? Because we got the same information being bombarded into our subconscious mind. And everybody else around us is like crabs in a bucket. Crabs in a bucket. Crabs in the bucket, little suckers, they want to pull you down. That's what they want to do. The, they like crabs in the bucket. They want to pull you down. That's what y'all doing. 
Y'all see chief out here speaking the truth. Y'all see disciples out here speaking truth. And y'all want to pull us back into the same bucket that we got out of. Because y'all hate yourself. Because y'all don't want to change. Because y'all scared to let go. In all honesty, I believe that it's you who's afraid to let go. You're afraid to let go of Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Chief Hopper John Hot Pocket, a.k.a. Chief Administrative Segregation. You are afraid that his life sentence plus 10 years without the possibility of parole will indeed be upheld. And then what you gonna do? You gonna have to proclaim the kingdom while he's in jail for the rest of his natural life. Because y'all hate yourself, because y'all don't want to change, because y'all are scared to let go. Let go and grow. Let go and let God. Reflection. Let go and let God. Because you recording yourself. You're on record. Your, your, subconscious, your subconscious mind is recording everything that you do, and it's going to be played back to you in the end. And you're going to be like, damn. Damn, that was the Messiah. Damn. Why was I hating on Nature Boy? Why was I hating on him? I didn't even know him. The truth was told to y'all. So it's going to be up to y'all what you do with it. You feel me? So get out of that environment. Stop watching them same programs. Stop listening to them pro to the same music. Fuck them schools. Fuck them jobs. Fuck that food. Fuck that water that got chlorine and fluoride. Fuck them showers. We need a, we need a software update. If y'all don't if y'all don't like hearing me talk on my YouTube or on my Instagrams and social medias, go on Chief Page. He might be able to articulate it more clear for you. But whatever you do, go get the information so that you can vibrate out of your situation. Empty your cup. Go study your natal chart. Go study how your mind works. Go study the patterns of your mind. How do you think? How do you think? How is your astrological program being used to imagine your reality, to dream your reality, your reality into existence? How? Go study yourself. Y'all worried about the messengers, but y'all always missing the point. Remember, when you point the finger, you miss the point. You miss the point. And then after you go empty your cup and you refill it with divine knowledge itself, the five sciences, the ancient text that she put us out on, put us on inside that Bible. The intuitive information that been streaming out of chief for years. Okay. Now proclaim that. Proclaim it. If you don't know how to talk, you don't have to just talk. Go do music. Go write. Go dance. Go draw. Go cook. Edit videos, whatever it is that you know how to do, whatever your skill or your talent or your gift is, use that that gift that you've acquired throughout lifetimes to proclaim the kingdom of you, to proclaim the, the kingdom of God, which is the kingdom of truth. Your rewards are going to be great in heaven, but don't be afraid to let go. Don't be afraid to do the right thing. Don't be afraid to do the right thing. Peace to all the guys in the building, man. Don't be afraid to do the right thing. You feel me? Everybody, hey, why is the road to destruction? And narrow is the road to everlasting life. You feel me? Go get the money. Y'all want to get the money, okay? But if y'all look in the Bible, it was harder for a camel to go through a hole of a needle than it was for a rich man to enter the kingdom. Y'all think that once y'all go, y'all, they got us thinking that, oh, okay, once I go get the money, then I can free myself. No, steal the body and move the mind. Hey, once you think it's, once you think it, it's already done. Once you think it, it's already done. All you have to do is just hold the thought, focus. A lot of us can't focus. 
Because we worried about what Tom, Dick, and Harry, and Jane doing. We worried about what our Babylon family members, what they going to think about us. Oh, I don't know if I want to go follow him. Everybody hates him. But you should be looking at the nigga that everybody hating. Don't, don't worry about the people that everybody loving and, and giving millions of likes and views to worry about the nigga that they hating on. I ain't never seen nobody hated as much as Chief ever in my life. Ever. That just go to show you that he doing the right thing. That go to, hey, when you get hated for what you doing, that just go to show you that you doing something good. That you doing something right. Because we live in hell. We li this the good place. I don't know if y'all ever seen that show, The Good Place. But it was basically a society like this. And everybody was getting money, able to buy nice cars and mansions. And they thought that they was living a life of Riley. But they was in hell. Mentally, spiritually, they was in hell. And that's where we at. This earth plane, that's North American, Babylon. We in hell, y'all. This not, this not it. We can't even be human here. We can't be human here. We don't got our proper food, water, oxygen, sunlight, nothing. But they got us thinking. And they got us dreaming and imagining this realm. We perpetuating the same system that's destroying us. Look at what we doing, Reflection. How can y'all maliciously prosecute a man that did that was doing nothing but trying to help his people? Why y'all not running up on the drug dealers in y'all neighborhood? I know y'all know the weed men and the, the coke dealers and the, the niggas that sell a molly and the lean in y'all neighborhood, the niggas that got the shrooms, the niggas that got the zans in y'all in y'all neighborhood. Why y'all not going up to them and telling them to do the right thing? Why y'all worried about Chief so much? Why y'all not worried about the niggas that's really poisoning y'all streets? Oh, wait. Because y'all are cowards. A lot of y'all are cowards. A lot of y'all are cowards. Y'all won't stand up for righteousness. Y'all not going to stand up for what's true. Y'all not going to stand up for what's real. But you're going to have to pay for your decisions in the end. Y'all got to pay for your decisions. We all got to pay for our decisions. Karma. Yeah, karma. That's why you keep reincarnating back into this realm. That's why when you go into the new, into another dream, your ass keep waking up back here because we here to serve our karma. We here to learn lessons. And guess who? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? The Messiah is here. The most high chief, Baba G. The most honorable prophet chi baba G, is the way the truth and the light in order for you to get out of this reality in order for you to get out of this state of mind you have to go through his consciousness you have to go through his way of life it's already written it's a must that you go through that consciousness there is no other way out of this realm but to imagine yourself in another frequency but you must be on the five sciences. You got to be knowing astrology. You got to be knowing biology, quantum physics, melanin, grounding. You have to know these five sciences because these sciences give you irrefutable proof that you are God and that you are the source of your reality and you are not separate from anything. Y'all can hate now, but when them storms start coming, when, them, when nature start knocking at your door, then it's going to be, oh, oh. Yeah, he already, we already told y'all. Chief already came with the information. We already been telling y'all niggas. We already been talking to y'all. But it's cool. We're going to leave this information up on the, on the, on the social medias for y'all so that y'all can get it. Y'all going to have to come to it. All roads lead to the source. I don't care if you out here stripping, if you a crackhead out this bitch, if you out here prostituting, if you out here getting money, selling shit. All roads lead to the source. Everything that you're doing is just showing you who you are. Everything that you're doing is just leading you to truth. I don't give a fuck if you out here bodybuilding. 
If you out here think you got a family, if you out here thinking that you getting money off of social security, if you getting money from disability, if you getting money from child support, spouse support, you getting money from what? All roads lead to the source. You getting that money to free yourself. You supposed to be using that money to, to for the kingdom. Your gifts and your talents is for the kingdom. I was in Babylon wrestling. I was in Babylon cutting hair. What the fuck? I was in Babylon getting money, hustling, finessing, doing whatever I had to do to survive. No, store your treasures in heaven and use your gifts and your talents for the kingdom. There is no way out of this reality. There is no running. When my brother said, you can't keep running and running from you because this life is a mirror. Where you going? going there is nowhere to run there is nowhere to hide reflection there is nowhere for you to go where are you going even if you go and you go and you go and you go to another country in a tropical environment like chief teaches us wherever you go there you will be there you are because you are living inside of your mind you think that you outside living in this shit but no you're living out, you're living inside of your mind. You're a cell inside of your body. Little famous was good. Peace to the gods. Mick Jones, what up? What's happening? Y'all, we living inside of our own minds, so there is nowhere to run. There is nowhere to go. That's why we imagination, man. Because the only way out of this shit is in. You gotta go in. Bitch, I'm going in. You gotta go in. In where? You gotta go inside your imagination. In your imagination. And there's morals and principles to it. You have to use divine laws, universal laws and morals and principles to keep you in order for you to get. Who else here peeped the fact that Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Chief Hopper John Hot Pocket, a.k.a. Chief Administrative Segregation, switched up his philosophy to this rubbish talking about some you got to go in. There ain't no way out. You just got to go in. He started that when he got incarcerated. Now he talking about it's all about going in. Before it was all about moving to the tropics of Cancer and Capricorn. Universal laws and morals and principles to keep you in order for you to get out of your imagination. To get out of the realm that you're in. To get out of this hell, to get out of this hell realm that we are in. You must reprogram your subconscious mind. You must get out of your environment, empty your cup, refill it with divine knowledge itself, and proclaim the kingdom of God, and hold that thought, hold that frequency, focus, and you will imagine yourself into another reality. But that's the only way out, because you can't run from you. You think that, oh, you think that you can run because you got some money. You got a million dollars. Oh, you think that you can just leave your environment and go into the tribe. Well, you're just going to bring Babylon there. You just gonna bring your fuck shit there. You gonna bring your demons there. Because wherever you go, there you will be. Like my chief teaches us. You're going to attract, magnetically attract everything that you are, and everything that you need for you to learn so that you can learn your lessons, so that you can grow and evolve on a soul level. So that your mind can evolve. So that you're so that you can reach the higher levels of consciousness. Because that's what we're here to do. We're here to grow. But we cannot grow. If we still holding on to the old information, if we still holding on to the old ways of thinking, to the old ways of being, let go reflection. Let go. Oh, no, I got kids. I'm not leaving my baby. I'm not leaving my baby. <laughs> I'm not leaving. What? Well, that baby is going to be the reason why you destroyed yourself. Because remember... Life is a projection of you like Chief teaches us. You don't have any kids. Chief is you. I'm you. You are me. You are your kids. You that job that you working at, it's all frequency. It's all thought. To think, I think, therefore I am. 
If you think that you a fucking McDonald's worker, well, there you are. You are. If you think that you broke, well, you are. You spiritually broken. If you think that you can't get out of your situation, well, you won't get out of your situation. If you think that you are God, well, I am that I am. If you see the God in the Most High Chi Baba Ji, well, you can see God in yourself. If you know three coming home, well, you're free in your mind. I think, therefore, I am, like my chief say. I am is the God consciousness, the Christos, the Christ consciousness. And that's what we here waking up to. So we have to imagine ourselves out of the situations and predicaments that we are in. We already imagined Chief out of jail. I already seen Chief out. I already seen Chief out. Three is free. I already seen us in a tropical environment, singing, dancing. I already seen it. It's already written. Let it be written. Let it be done. It's already done because it's a thought. It's a frequency. So y'all got to reprogram your subconscious mind, y'all. Get the fuck out of that city. Get out of that city. Get out. Get out. They showing us in the movies. They showing us in the movies what's going on and what's about to happen. But we not paying attention. But look, y'all paying attention to the wrong things. Y'all giving your energy and your currency to the wrong thing. Y'all giving your 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 currency and your attention. Y'all like she teaches us. Your true currency is your focus and your attention. What are you giving your focus and your attention to? Are you giving it to the to the bullshit to all the haters online? Huh? Because whatever you focus on, you are gonna get more of it. If you focus on negativity, you're gonna get more of it. If you focus on all them troll videos and all the, the false narratives that they've been putting out about Chief, you just going to get more of it and you just going to block yourself from the truth. That's it. But if you got your mind and your attention and your focus focused on... Okay, everyone. I have some really exciting news. Janae's book, Lesson Learned, is now available on Amazon.com. The paperback version... Is twenty five fifty five, and the hardcover is forty seven ninety. So you can actually pick her book up on Amazon.com today. That's it. But if you got your mind and your attention and your focus focused on the kingdom, which is righteous righteousness, getting in tune with nature, helping our people, helping the cause. Helping Chief get the fuck out of there, then you focus on the right things, Reflection. Even if you're doing it behind closed doors. Take one step towards the kingdom, towards the universe, and the universe will take two steps towards you. But you have to believe. You have to believe in yourself. We got to believe in ourselves. We don't believe. We Saturn is in Pisces right now. Yeah, it's time for us to believe. It's time for us to believe. What are you believing in? Y'all believe that fuck shit that they put out in the, on the news? Y'all believe that he's a cult leader? Come on now. Y'all believe that? Come on now. Y'all believe that, that, what that what that bitch said? Y'all believe what that bitch said? Come on now. Like Chief teaches us. If you keep believing a lie, it becomes the truth. So a lot of us live in the lies and believe that it's truth. We think that we living in this system and that this is this is what this is what life is. It's not what life is. It's not it. So y'all reprogram your subconscious mind. Get in order for y'all to get out of y'all situation. Man, y'all gotta y'all gotta see yourselves doing something better. Y'all gotta see, just like the rappers. The rappers being they don't have they don't be having no money. Them niggas be broke. 
They don't be having no jewelry, nothing. Them niggas be broke. They be capping. But they really don't. They be they be manifesting. They be thinking. They be imagining themselves where they want to be at, what they want to have in that reality. They be like, I got a million dollars. I got a hundred thousand dollars. I got jewelry. My shit dripping. My shit wet. Uh, da, 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 da. A year later, they got jewelry. They shit dripping. They shit wet. They got millions of dollars. But guess who owns them? The system. Because the system, the bank is the the bank is the ones that's printing the money. And the, the, the spirit of the devil owns the banks. The devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. So we believe in lies. Y'all putting y'all focus into this system. The system is this system is here to is designed to destroy us. It's divide it's designed to divide and conquer us. Why you think they got all these niggas on the in the entertainment industry, on the rap industry? Degrading women. The degrading their brothers. Degrading their sisters. Degrading women. The degrading their brothers. Degrading their sisters. But I thought you was a man. You was bucking up. You had every you was being disrespectful and then a snicker smacked the shit out you and then you call the police. You are trying to fight a nigga and then nigga beat your ass. You call the police trying to press charges on the nigga. So many niggas behind bars because you bitches. You little weak bitches. You's a bitch made nigga. You's a bitch made nigga. You a bitch made nigga. You were made to be a bitch and you a bitch. And I'm gonna tell you to your face, shorty. You a bitch. And the niggas out there that protect these females, you some y'all niggas hoes too. Y'all niggas hoes too. Cause a woman come out of her fucking face and man ain't supposed to ever take disrespect, ever. You wanna emasculate the black man so that you can feel a sense of power? So you won't be emasculated? These bitches is mad cause they, won't, they don't wanna be emasculated. Fuck you. I'm, a, I'm the man. I'm the man, nigga. You never met a real man. You used to these fucking bitch made niggas. These niggas was made by bitches. Bitch made niggas. Made by bitches. They made by the system and they made by their mothers. They was raised by their mothers. They was never raised by men. They were never made around men. Fuck you talking about. Y'all, I had to do it. I had to insert that clip. There's so many other examples of Elihio Bishop, a.k.a. Nature Boy, a.k.a. Chief Hapa John Hot Pocket, a.k.a. Chief Administrative Segregation, degrading women and men. He was notorious for this behavior live on Beyonce's internet. Great and they brothers, the great and they sisters. They got the women, my pussy pink, my buddy hole brown. Like what the fuck? That's what y'all want our children listening to? Y'all want to perpetuate that, huh? Hey, I got kicks. Why you on my dick? I'm I'm in I'm in Babylon's vehicle. Shit, I don't own this. The system own this car. I don't this not my car. Even if it was paid for, it's still not mine, nigga. They own this car. They got an MSO on this car. The MSO is the birth certificate for your car. Go look it up. You don't own your car, even if you got the title to it. My point is. You focused on the wrong things, my nigga. That's the point. You missing the point. Y'all focused on the wrong things. Y'all should be focused on divine knowledge itself. If y'all not focused on getting better, if y'all not focused on, hey, don't give me your energy if you not learning nothing from me. Don't give me your energy if you not learning nothing from me. Don't do that. Because you focus on the wrong thing because I'm going straight into your subconscious and what I'm talking about I got from my chief, nigga. I got from the most high chief about G. And it's going right into your subconscious mind, which is running 95% of your reality. So if y'all don't want to learn, if y'all don't want to hear me, I advise y'all to get the fuck out of this live. Because it's going into your mind and y'all fuck around be having dreams about us. Because y'all definitely going to project us into your subconscious when y'all die. And oh shit, imagine they, oh, they, they really was telling the truth. They was really here to help us. Oh, Reincarnate dickhead. Reincarnate goofy. Lessons. Lessons. Don't miss. Yo, he looked like he really believed the words that just came out of his mouth. 
So now when you unalive, you're going to see imagination and you're going to be like, oh, snap, they were here to help. And then you're going to have to reincarnate, goofy. <laughs> Yo, I don't understand how, well, let me not say that. Like, oh, my God, they are so brainwashed. Lessons, lessons. Don't miss these blessings that we given to y'all. Don't miss it. These, the, come on, man. The information that Chief gave us is like, it's like precious jewels. It's like jewelry. And you're supposed to take it and you're supposed to wear it, wear it with honor. You're supposed to take the information that Chief give to us, hold it, wear it with honor, and apply it to your life. Hey, if it don't work, then go say that. But if the information not helping you in your life, or if it help you in your life, man, you know what it is. I tell you what, I know the information is helping me in my life. I'm not doing the same thing y'all doing because we not on the same frequency. We not on the same thought process, my nigga. We not. You worried, you, your name is I Got Kicks. You still worried about copping J's and LeBron's, my nigga. You still worried about putting rubber and wood on the bottom of your feet. What's the technologies of the body? Like she teaches us, to honor God is to honor the technologies of your body. We know that rubber and wood is insulators for your connection with the earth. For your, your connection with the universe. Your name is I Got Kicks and you worried about what the fuck I'm talking about. It's cool. You can keep riding my dick. You can keep worrying about me, my nigga. But the truth gonna rain. Melanin rains. Hey, melanin gonna rain. I'm about to sip my organic wine on y'all, fools. Not on, not on all y'all. I am Bree Chanel. What's good? Peace of the God. But I got kids. Come on, my nigga. Come on, my nigga. You a whole nigga. You in my life. Go on your social media and speak your truth. You got your own social media. Clearly. Go speak your truth. Don't be an insulator like them shoes that you be that you that you got, my nigga. Don't be an insulator to everybody else that want to get the message. Because the information that Chief has given us is gonna give you everlasting life if you apply it to your reality. I promise you. I promise you. You're gonna feel a lot better. It's gonna heal you. I ain't even gonna hold y'all, but I literally just remembered a saying that my mother used to tell me all the time. She used to say, a promise is a comfort to a fool. Do not allow anyone to make promises to you because then they have the opportunity to turn you into a fool. I promise you. I promise you. You're going to feel a lot better. It's going to heal you. We worried about all this material shit. Don't worry about all that. You're creating that with your mind. You can, you can lose it and get it right back. Y'all worried about my kids. Why y'all worried about my kids? Is y'all putting food in their mouth? Is y'all teaching my kids divine knowledge itself? I don't think so. I don't think niggas should be worried about nothing unless it involves... I don't think y'all should be worried about nothing if it don't pertain to y'all life. If we're chief, if we're, if we're chief given to us and we teaching y'all not helping y'all, then go about y'all way. Hey. I'm not worried about your reflection. Because truly, I'm talking to myself. You feel me? I ain't died. I'm talking to those that, that think like us. If you don't think like us, if you don't hold the Christ consciousness, then I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you at all. Hey, you don't. Hey, I'm gonna help you out. I got kicks. Go, go make you a new page, bitch ass nigga. Go make you a new page, bitch. Pussy. Go make you a new page. I blocked you, nigga. And I'm gonna remove you. I'm gonna remove all your shit. Fuck out of here. What the fuck is you talking about? You worried about what we talking about? It's clearly that you're gonna be reincarnating to learn lessons again. That's clear to me. But that's what it is, y'all, man. Like my chief teaches us. I think, therefore, I am. To think is to exist. 
To think is to dream. And to dream is to imagine. Therefore, your life is your imagination. The only way out is in. But you have to ask yourself, is the thoughts that I'm having, that I'm existing in, that I'm dreaming, that I'm imagining, are they aligned with righteousness? Are they aligned with my higher self? Are they aligned with my lower self? Are they perpetuating generational curses? Are they helping keeping my people enslaved? Are they help are the, are those are my thoughts helping me keep my people down? Is what I'm projecting into my reality keeping my people oppressed? Or is it helping my people? Sleep on that, y'all. Y'all know what the vibes is, man. Three is free, man. Three's coming home. Alright? Reflect the life from, from the most high chief Baba G, my higher self, man. I love myself, y'all. Y'all know what it is. I'm gonna talk to y'all in a minute. <laughs> City, you are now rocking with the best. Lloyd Banks, G, let We on fire, up in here, it's burning hot. We on fire, so we take it off if it gets too hot. Up in this spot, we on fire. Tell the roof folks, let the roof on fire. Uh, what you say? We get loose in let the roof on fire. 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 Nah, I ain't putting nothing out. I smoke when I wanna. 26 inch chrome spokes on a Hummer. This heat gon' last for the whole summer. Running it faster than the road. Runner. Rocks on my wrist, rose gold under. On my hip, those throw thunder. I'm riding diamonds by the pier. But when you stop, the only thing still spinning is your ear. Yeah, I'm riding with that all black. Raiders cat back, all black gloves. I made mean, these men with the ball smack thugs. These record sales equal more back gloves. Not to mention the ball pack clubs. His impacts about his roars. Was. And all these new artists getting wrong deals. I'm only 21 sitting on the bills. Fire up in here, it's burning hot. We on fire. Should we take it off if it get too hot? Up in this spot, we on fire. Tell the roof folks. Let the roof on fire. Uh, what you say? We get loose in the street. Let the roof on fire. fire.